Hello everybody and welcome to Anexus TV. This is Kainite, of course, Anexus's um Anexus Shoutcaster. And this is gonna be my first live shoutcast on CSGO after my comeback, so uh, bear with me. But anyways, we do have Fnatic against the Copenhagen Wolves. And we're gonna jump straight into the knife round, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here then. Um, regards the Fnatic lineup, we have Moddy, Devil Walk, JW Schneider and Flush. And as far as the uh, Danish team are concerned, they've got Dupree, Freeze, Fetish, Zyp Zyper. Not quite sure how to pronounce his name. Zyp 9 x Dear, dear me, they don't make it easy, do they? But anyways, and Device will be that fifth player for the Copenhagen Wolves. So, uh, as we saw there, Fnatic did win the pistol round. And they have opted to stay on as counter-terrorists. Inferno is a CT-sided map. So I think we all really expected... Um, the winning team of the knife round to do that. But anyways, Copenhagen Wolves obviously beat the Russian team B-Grip 16-1 on DDoS 2 to uh, get into this stage of the competition. So let's have a look how the CTs are going to line up. We're seeing the normal two players on that smaller B bomb site, And Modi has been tagged at mid after he's trying to peek who I think was Fetish. So, so far sparring from both sides. Nothing going on so far, and that's something we'll see a lot on Inferno. Everything is going to be going relatively slow. Device trying to make noise near that banana area. So far, so good for both teams. Slightly better for the counter terrorists because, well, if the bomb doesn't go down and the time runs out, well, uh, it's going to be 1 0 to Fnatic. But, anyways, it is a bit of a small Scandinavian battle here. Obviously, Sweden versus Denmark. And it will be interesting to see who comes out victorious. I think the favourites are Fnatic, however. But anyways, it looks like we're going to start seeing this push now onto that bigger bomb site. Schneider has been hit. We've got T's going around Arch and Quad. And JW, the first kill of the round onto Dupree. Schneider gets one himself. And Freeze is going to try and push this larger bomb site. Device gets on the scoreboard as well. And everything's even at the moment. So we take that back. It's 3 1, 2 versus 1. And Fetish goes down to Flusher. And that's it for the pistol round. So Fnatic, the CT side, took a bit of damage to themselves. But then again, the uh, terrorist side, Glock, well, it's the noob card in CSGO, isn't it? It's rather overpowered. But nonetheless, round one will go to uh, the CT side in Fnatic. And uh, I'm sure they'll be happy about that. Of course, the way the economical system works in Counter-Strike, if you win the pistol round, well, it's such a massive round because it can give you money to go on and win the next two rounds for those of you guys who might not be that familiar with Counter-Strike. But that's why we're seeing the CTs now with a few uh, Bisons here and there, a few Galils, a UMP, and a... Uh, Another SMG somewhere on the map, but X9 pushed quad, got taken down by JW. Schneider gets his kill for the round, down goes Fetish, and uh, Freeze, well, that was a very quick round, and he is the last remaining terrorist. What can he do here? He's popped out of apps, he's gonna get surrounded, and he's gonna get taken down by Moddy. And we see the bomb there on the floor, and that's exactly where Fnatic wants it on the floor, on that balcony, and not planted on one of the bomb sites. So, uh, no surprises at the moment, Fnatic really are the favourites for the game, and, well, they're 2-0 up on a CT-sided map. So, so far, so good for the Swedes. Not so good for the Danes, but they've still got plenty of time to turn it around. So, let's see what they're going to do now. Looks like they're going to go up second mid. They aren't really going to run into much resistance as far as the CTs are concerned. Hang on a second, they might do now. We do have a CT making his way up into Apps JW. There he is, and I think he just... Has he spotted any of the terrorists? No, he hasn't. He's spotted free now. He's going to call that mid to be push. Moddy with two kills. Moddy with three. Can he make it four? Schneider gets a fourth. And without a doubt, Moddy's going to go and search for that fifth player. Couldn't get him, but a terrific free man there from Moddy. With that big gun, with that famas of his... Um, tore Copenhagen Wolves apart. So 3-0 Fnatic as they rack up their third round for the game so far. And this is obviously the fourth round. We are going to see, a, this is where both teams really are tested properly. We are going to see a buy from the from the Danes, or well we should. Yep, they do all have AKs. And well, Fnatic, it's somewhat of a mixed buy. Flush are actually still on that shotgun. Moddy, as we can see, still on the FAMAS. So it's going to be interesting. The uh, device has uh, had damage dealt onto him. The CT is interestingly playing three on that smaller B bomb site. So, you know, we're seeing something different. Fnatic want to uh, 
make Copenhagen Wolves repeatedly try to guess what's going to go on. It's always good not to keep things the same. It's good to change things around. However, that third CT who was on that smaller bomb site has gone back and rotated to that A bomb site. So Freeze and Device both near that smaller bomb site. Zype 9, or we'll just call him X because it's much easier. Going towards second mid. And Dupree looks like he's going to throw a smoke or a flash. Nope. Very, very slow from the Danes, but if they're happy with doing that, it hasn't worked for him so far, but if it works at the end of the day, then it works. JW with that big green gun for Fnatic is going to jump into that pit area. He's going to watch Quad. Decent position. We see a lot of players playing from there. Moddy playing at Schneider now. It sounds like he's going to rotate to that towards that smaller bomb site. Devil Wolf takes down Fetish. They have device, however, is going to carry on going into this B bomb site. Spots on the CT. He's going to get taken down by Schneider from behind. And now they're all going to try and push Fetish at the back of that site. Flusher with two AK kills. Dupree gets a consolation. But Flusher gets number three for himself. And it's 4 0 to the Swedes. I must admit my camera work has been rather poor, so forgive me for that. But anyways, I'm sure the Swedes won't mind. They are 4-0 up. Of course, they are the favourites, so again, they won't mind. We are going to see uh, an eco, or well, a 50-50 eco slash deco from Copenhagen Wolves, because obviously they bought up last round, and well, they lost. So, uh, Fnatic technically should get their fifth on the board now. Device by himself towards Banana, however... The other terrorist does have the bomb at the bottom of Banana, so so far it's a guessing game from the Copenhagen Wolves. X and Zuprish making their way into that lower apps area. They could push out a quad here. Looks like we're going to have a quad push. Schneider takes down one. Moddy with a second, and Schneider gets his second as he drops Fetish. Moddy now getting on the scoreboard. Not once, but twice. And so far, well, we haven't seen anything you know, over the top from the Copenhagen Wolves. They've just really been pushing into bomb sites. They haven't really had the weapons to try and do anything. And Fnatic, well, Fnatic have just sliced through them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So uh, hopefully it's round number six now. We might see something different. Obviously, Inferno is a CT-sided map. And, you know, the Danes do have a lot of time to try and turn things around. But the question is, are they going to turn things around? Only time will tell. JW has been tagged. He is, of course, the AWP for the Swedish side. Friss trying to make noise towards that smaller bomb site. I don't think we've seen Copenhagen Wolves really, other than once trying to push the smaller bomb site. Interestingly, we have both CTs playing on the bomb site, which is something we don't see very often on that smaller B bomb site. Dupreen's X on the other side of the map actually towards apartments. So uh, let's see what the Copenhagen Wolves have up their sleeve. I mean, all it looks like they're doing at the moment, they're just playing it calm and trying to. They want Fnatic to commit and cause an error. And then they're going to try and punish Fnatic. But the problem with Fnatic, they're a top team. And, you know, a team like Fnatic don't really do that many errors. So you, you've got to have a plan B. But anyways, it looks like Fnatic going to flash out that banana. But hang on a second. Schneider gets on the score sheet. Dev device not too far behind. Schneider makes it two for himself. Looks like we're going to have an A-bomb site push. Schneider gets a third. Fritz is going to get spotted. He's going to get taken down. And uh, the game lagged a little bit. But anyways, device the last terrorist alive. He knows that one of the CTs... He is in that balcony area. He's going to fall back. He's made his way into apps. 26 seconds in counting. The bomb, of course, is down on that A-bomb site. But it looks like Device, actually, might go for this. I think he knows where one of the CTs are. He's going to jump out now. And is he going to take down any of them? He's going to take down one. Can he get the second? No, he cannot. Devil Walk had him in his back pocket. And we're going to have round number six going to the Swedes. And the Copenhagen Wolves, has to be said, are in trouble at the moment. They've got to change something round. Perhaps introduce an AWPer. Perhaps, I don't know, try and just rush somewhere and, you know, change. But whatever it is, they've got to change something around. and Because it so far, it hasn't been good enough from the Danish team. So, how... Oh, hang on a second. Looks like we're going to see a banana push now from Fnatic. Flusher gets taken down. Device with two kills. Great play there by the Dane. And he's almost... Well... Well, cleared out that B bomb site by himself. Schneider got on the score sheet twice and was capable to stop it. Schneider gets his third and his fourth. Can he make it five? No, he can't. Moddy got the fifth. But a very good four man from Schneider. Blue Copenhagen Whale, uh, Wales. Copenhagen Wolves back to Denmark. And 7 0 to the Swedes. So far, Fnatic, re Fnatic really have uh, overwhelmed the Danes. They've been too good for them. There's no other way to put it, really. They, uh, Changed it round by pushing up Banana. They took the Danes 
by surprise completely. And I'll tell you what, it paid off for him. So Device once again playing Banana by himself. He did get two massive kills the last round, but Copenhagen Wolves could not capitalise on it. So let's see what's going to happen now. We've seen the same setup from Fnatic. Well, they don't really feel like they need to change much, quite simply because it's working for them. And X is going to make his way now. Is he? No, he's just hanging around in lower apps. We do see Dupree, however. He's now in upper apps after jumping in through the balcony area. So what are we going to see now? We do know that one CT's on Arch and JW down there is on Quad. And JW looks like he's going to push Dupree. Is he going to take him out? They've both been tagged. Du JW is going to run away. Dupree actually dinked. And hang on a second. JW ran past four terrorists through that smoke. They had no idea he was there. Dupree headshotted his teammate in the process. But it is four on four. And the Copenhagen Wolves looks like they're going to... Oh, Schneider. Two kills from Schneider. Schneider makes it three. Moddy gets a fourth there. And Schneider, well, that's his second four-man consecutive rounds for him. Well, Schneider explodes all over Copenhagen Wolves, and uh, he's been too good for him. Schneider, let's have a look at the scores. 17 kills, 3 deaths. Well, you know what? He deserves it. He's been playing magnificently, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to spectate him from now on. So anyways, he's going to go towards that A-bomb site. Moddy, as far as the scores are concerned, on 12-2. Flusher, 6 kills, 1 death. JW, 3 kills, 3 deaths. And Devil Walk on 2 kills, 2 deaths. As far as the Copenhagen Wolves are concerned, six kills, eight deaths for Dev Carrying. Looks like we're going to have a B push now with his bombsite. Schneider, Flusher takes down one. Schneider's going to get pushed. Flusher gets his second, makes it three for himself. Freeze gets that consolation kill, but surely they're not going to be able to take anyone out now. And Flusher, well, Flusher made it four for himself. And Moddy, as usual, coming in late on to get that final kill. We've seen him do quite a lot. So, uh, Copenhagen Wolves, I'll tell you what, they've got to change something around. It's been, well... They've looked like bots so far. There's no other real way to put it. 9-0 to the Swedish side. We all knew it was going to be a close game. We all sort of thought that Fnatic would, you know, end up victorious. But so far, it's been an absolute whitewash. Not good enough. The pace of the game hasn't been too bad. But we haven't seen, you know, it doesn't seem like Copenhagen Wolves have been using smokes to their advantage that much. Devil Walk opening the scoring of this round. Gets first blood by taking Device out at Banana. And it looks like we're going to see a A bombsite push from the terrorists. What's going on now then? X and his teammate Dupree getting in a in a mess in lower apps. Flusher looks like he's going to rotate. No, he's going to still going to hang out on that smaller bombsite. JW knows exactly where one of the terrorists is. Deals a lot of damage to him. He's going to get flash. Actually, he uses that pole. And uh, so far, so good. He is safe as it stands. Moddy holding Arch. He does know that the terrorists are somewhere in that apps area. He's going to throw with smoke. And Fetish gets on the scoreboard. Picking off JW at quad. Schneider pushes apps and takes down Dupree. Now, what can we see from the Copenhagen Wolves? Obviously, all three of them are quite heavily tagged. And they're all... Hang on a second. They're all going to make their way back down Banana. Back towards that B-bomb site. So, who is this CT by himself on the B-bomb site? Can we find him? It's Devil Walk. And he's going to get pushed now from three terrorists. Devil Walk is going to get flash. He turns away. Throws his own flash. And now, he's going to run into three terrorists. Spots one takes him down. Devil Walk with two. Can he get the hat trick? No, he can't. Flusher came in to help him out, but I'm sure he won't mind. It is a team game, of course, and 10-0 to the Swedes at the moment. Wow. It's uh, been easy-peasy so far for Fnatic. Not good enough from Copenhagen Wolves. I mean, you know, Copenhagen Wolves do have a lot of weight on their shoulders. They are considered to be a very good team, be it in their CSS days or their CSGO days. But so far, you know, losing 10-0 against Fnatic on Inferno. Sure, it's a CT-sided map, but I'm sorry, guys. We've got to see... We've got to see more from you. We've got to see something better. But anyways, what are we going to see now from the T's? They uh, have bought up. To be fair, we've seen the T's buy up more or less every round. I only think they've had one or two decos. But obviously that means they are sacrificing armor for AKs. But of course, AKs are cheaper than M4A4s. But anyways, let's have a look at Schneider. He's uh, right where he wants to be. He's going to spot Freeze. Is he going to take him out? No, he's not. Fetish and Device on the score sheet. JW with two kills, but it's not going to matter now. Three versus two, and I think, for the first time in this game, Copenhagen Wolves are one man ahead. So, Flusher is... Ooh, he just got hit in the face from that flashbang. He's not fully blinded just yet. He's going to throw his own flash, and Devil Walk is going to try and make his way around quad. He is going to have Fetish in lower apps, though, to deal with. 
Does he know he's there? I don't think so. And we could see a save, actually. Doesn't look like the CTs are really pushing. Flusher just holding out. Devil Walk goes down, actually. Um, I take it he walked past lower apps. Flushing out. He's walking. Actually, he's running now towards that A bomb site. He spots a few of the terrorists. But the bomb will go off. I'm not quite sure what Flusher was doing there. There, were, there wasn't enough time left. And uh, he fell to his death. So, uh, finally, about bloody time, the Copenhagen Wolves do have a round on the board. 1 10 to uh, the Swedes. Uh, of course, Fnatic obviously winning 10 rounds in a row. They have more than enough money to buy up again, despite losing a round. Well, if you combine all their money, I think it's fairly safe to say. You can probably afford a tank by now. But anyways, the CT's both falling back at that lower bomb site, at that smaller bomb site, sorry, at the B bomb site. Apologies if I keep mixing them up. I am uh, an ex-Source player. So, uh, obviously, on Source, B was A. a was B, so I might mix them up from time to time. But anyways, it doesn't matter now. It still is 5 on 5. And we st we're still seeing the same slow approach from the Copenhagen Wolves. We said before that they probably need to change things around, which they haven't done. But let's see what's going to happen now. Flusher on that B bomb site by himself, playing it from behind. And he looks like Dev, uh, Dev Carry, the device, trying to make his way into that bomb site. Not much happened. The bomb, of course, is on Banana on Fetish's back. Looks like, however, he's going to stay at Banana. He's hiding near... No, he's going to fall back now. So the A push is on. And uh, the flashes are released and dispersed. And Device is going to make his way around that arch area. He's going to look left, right. He doesn't spot any CTs. Now the CTs are in trouble. Obviously, one CT on that bomb site. Can Device take him down? Yes, he can with a nice bullet to the face. Device with two. Took down Mori. I tell you what, 180 turn. Boom, in his face. And four versus two, and that's exactly what Copenhagen Wolves will uh, will have wanted. A second round on the board. Well, let's not speak too soon, but on paper they really should get their second round on the board. Flusher making his way in towards Apps Devil Walk. Looks like they're going to go for it. Down he goes. Lovely headshot from Dupree to get his second of the round. And I think we're going to see Flusher. Yep, that is what we're going to see. He knows X is around there somewhere, but it looks like he is going to fall back and give this round to Copenhagen Games, uh, to the Copenhagen Wolves. Jeez, the Copenhagen Games, dearing me. Hang on a second. Flusher will take down Dupree with an exit frag, and he's going to try and take out more. But Device had him in his back pocket and took him out instead. So 10-2 now to the Copenhagen Wolves. Fnatic probably, you know, taking their eye off the ball for a little bit. They are... They were 10-0 up at one point, but now it's 10-2, so let's hope it doesn't, you know, well, they'll be hoping it doesn't become 10-5, because it seems like all that work will have gone for nothing, um, and really five rounds, many would argue, is too much for the terrorist side on Inferno, so uh, let's see what they can pull out the bag now. More or less the same setup as we've seen all the time, device, you know, pushing banana, trying to make sure no CTs have taking control of Banana from close. He's going to check the sandbags, going to spot no one. But it looks like Fetish is going to join in on the action. The flash goes over, Dupree gets one kill. It was, however, on the A bomb site, but the Copenhagen Wolves still sparring left, right and centre near that smaller bomb site. So the question now is, are they going to fall back where the pick was? It doesn't look like they are. Fris is already very close to this bomb site. He's going to spot on the CTs, nails him in the end with the AK, knows exactly where Flusher is, but Flusher gets the better of him. But Dev Carry finishes him off. So JW rotating around behind. X takes him out. And, well, Fnatic, their game is uh, being undone now about bloody time. Moddy is the last player alive. And 4 versus 1. He does have 100 HP, an M4A4, and a few nades on his hands. He's going to walk right past X, though. Let's watch X. I think he knows that Flush is there. Or Moddy's there, sorry. And uh, he's walking right towards him. Is he going to look through there? He is going to spot him, and he is going to take him down. So, 10-3 to the Danes, the, to the Swedes, sorry. But three rounds in a row for the Danes, and they have the momentum now. Obviously, we all know how important momentum is in Counter-Strike. Win a round, win two, win three. And, you know, you force the uh, your opposition to have to eco or deco, and that really, you know, can hit them in the stomach. However, because Fnatic were 10 0 up, they still have more than enough money. But if they are going to lose this round, then I think they will have to save, guys. But anyways, 10 <clears> 3. <throat> Schneider playing apps, which is where we've seen him play a fair bit. Again, 
CTs aren't really. They're giving Copenhagen Wolves control of Banana. And they're placing that smoke out there, which allows them to, to nade off the wall like that. But again, the same slow approach from the Copenhagen Wolves. I'll tell you what, I think out of all the teams I've spotted playing T side on Inferno so far, Copenhagen Wolves probably have the slowest build up on Inferno. However, it does look like they are going to fake that smaller B bomb site push, and they are going to start pushing this larger A bomb site now. Schneider with one towards the apps area. Moddy getting on the score sheet as well with two lovely shots from Moddy. Fetish, however, takes him down. JW with the AWP, and Schneider gets number two for himself. And easy peasy so far for Fnatic. I keep saying easy peasy. Well, they make it look bloody well easy, don't they? 11 3, and it could be 12 3. We are seeing, obviously, the last round. Copenhagen Wolves are going to buy everything they can. Freeze looks like, you know, he is going to pick up an AK that his teammate dropped for him. So an all AK buy round from the Copenhagen Wolves. And uh, you know what? If Copenhagen Wolves manage to get their own four, but hang on a second, the CTs have done that a few turns and it paid off for them. They were pushing Banana rather aggressively. They've got relatively tagged though. It's not going to, didn't do as much damage as it did last time. Most of the T's in up. So it looks like we're going to see a quick push onto this A-bomb site, and here it goes. The push commences. Freeze drops into Balcony. JW with an AWP kill from Library onto X. What can we see now? Bullets left, right, and center. All I can hear is boom, boom, boom. The Dupree as well. We've got three terrorists in this pit area. Freeze drops Schneider. Devil Walk gets on the score sheet, and JW with his second AWP shot to the face of Device. Two versus four. Make that two versus one. So I've made that four versus one. I can't count. Dupree, however, takes out Device. Takes out JW, sorry. He knows exactly where one of the other CTs are, but he is stuck on 19 HP at the moment. So what is going to happen? They're looking at the wrong spot at the moment. Can we see a 3 versus 1 clutch from the Dane player? No, we cannot. And 12-3 to the Swedes. As both teams say good half to each other. And, uh, well, really analysing that entire half... Really, Fnatic got themselves into a nice 10 0 lead, gave them the confidence they needed. Copenhagen Wolves, fair play to them. You know, considering being 10 0 down on Inferno, it'd probably, you know, be slightly demoralised. But they did try and fight their way back into the game. They got three rounds back. But the question now is are three rounds going to be enough for them to uh, rescue this game? Only time will tell. Fnatic obviously now on the overpowered T side. They do have. That move cannon, aka the Glock in their hands. One of the CTs tries to push Banana, but ends up falling back. And a uh, relatively slow build up as well from Fnatic. So maybe a slow Inferno build up to something Scandinavian teams seem to like on CSGO, I don't know. But then again, it's the pistols, and the pistol rounds do tend to be more slower than others. So uh, we're just going to have to hold out and see what happens. Moddy looks like he's going to finally make his way through lower apps, is he? He is now. Schneider of mid. We know that one CT is on arch side. So they, uh, well, they see his bullets flying left and right centre. And that they hear his guns. Device. A CT has dual elite. So it's going to be interesting to see what will happen now. Well, let's spectate him, actually. Um, it looks like the T's are going to push this A-bomb site sooner than we thought. Moddy slowly making his way towards apps. Device has his crosshair in the right place. And I think it's only a matter of time. JW go takes Fetish down. And there it is. Device takes down Moddy. X will take down JW elsewhere on the map. And uh, Device getting that second kill with the, the dual elite and makes it three as well. So easy for the Copenhagen Wolves on CT side. Despite Fnatic having the overpowered Glocks, they did still get the better of their Swedish neighbours. So, we are obviously going to see an eco now from Fnatic, and we're going to see a buy round from the terrorist, which is of, well, from the CT, sorry, which is, of course, what they will have wanted. Device and Freeze getting in a tumble there. <laughs> they both wanted to go through the same door, but um, obviously, a door can only fit one counter-terrorist, uh, not more than, not, um, more than one counter-terrorist at once. But anyways, again, on paper, the Copenhagen Wolves should win this round as well, which will give them... 12-5 scoreline as it stands, but again, you know, this is Counter-Strike Global Offensive, guys, as you probably know, and anything can happen. So, Device playing upper apps, Fetish playing on Arch. It looks like we're going to have one of the terrorists. Where is he? Oh, they've fallen back now, actually. Devil Walk and JW. 
The smoke is there. Very, very slow. It's surprising, really, because when most teams when they are on an eco, they just want to get them out of the way, especially considering Fnatic are in a very strong position right now. But they are taking it slow, so fair play to them. They probably practice these kinds of rounds. They probably know exactly what they're doing. That's why they're the professionals, not me. Anyways, Friss spots, I think, the hand of the terrorist there. He will put that smoke down. So you know it was a flash. But it looks like, hello, hello, Fnatic are going to make their way into the smaller beam bomb site. They've gone on to Banana relatively quietly. And uh, they are going to push X. I do think he will get flashed. But I think they more or less know he's there in the teeth. The Stampede of Trains is going to push this B bomb site now. Moddy takes down X with Dupree with that P90. And now the bomb will go down on that small bomb site. Dupree is going to come from behind. One kill the P90. Fetish with two. And Dupree with his third. So a very strong round there from Fnatic. Fair play to them. The anticipated. That the Copenhagen, that's strong play from the Copenhagen Wolves, sorry. Um, they anticipated that Fnatic would uh, make their way up Banana after really not doing much towards that bigger A bomb site. And uh, the fact that they had SMGs, well, despite Fetish, I think it was getting the opening kill of the round. It just wasn't good enough, and they did go on to get their fifth round of the game. So, so far, so good. Copenhagen Wolves still on the same guns, a few P90s, a few Famases, three of them however on M4A4, so it's going to be interesting to see how this develops. Fnatic still using their good old overpowered Glocks, if you're watching Valve, sort it out. <laughs> and the push will now commence on this B-bomb site, Freeze with one, on to Devil War, Fetish gets another, Freeze with his second, Fetish with his second, and Freeze with his third. Easy peasy. And that's what it's been really for Fnatic. They haven't been uh, for Copenhagen Wolves really. <laughs> I keep mixing both teams up. I think it was because Fnatic started as CTs, and now for some reason I still haven't realised that Fnatic have, have obviously switched. Dear me. Uh, I think I need a drink of water, but anyways. 12 6, and the Copenhagen Wolves are fighting back. Of course, they were 12 3 down at the start of this half, so 12 6 not doing too badly, but now we are, of course, going to see a buy round from the T's. Let's have a look at what JW is going to do with his AWP. It's always interesting to watch AWPers. Um, as far as his team are concerned, Flusher and Devil Walk at the bottom of Banana, but hang on a second, the CT is one thing which I like doing. Um, X and Dupree have pushed out of Banana, so it allow them now to push Banana, it allow them to cut Banana off, and as soon as they realise no terrorists are there, what that does is it makes the map smaller, which means that as CTs, Copenhagen Wolves will have more land, They'll be able to pinpoint exactly where Fnatic on the T side are. And I think X is going to throw that flash. And they are going to actually fall back into that bomb site. So fair enough. Flusher. Well, didn't didn't escape unharmed. But he did escape undetected, I would think. Moddy with the first kill onto Device. From that lower apps area. Free knows exactly where he is. He's in that quad. Moddy just wants to spot him first. It looks like he's going to make... No, he is going to go back down there. He's going to throw the flash. And the smoke, and make his way out now. He's going to peek Arch, no one was there. He's going to peek Quad, he knows where... He didn't see Freeze, actually. He's going to make his way towards Arch now. Fetish getting on the scoreboard. Moddy's going to get pushed by Fetish from behind, and eventually, he takes him out. But Fetish gets his second of the round onto Moddy. So three versus three now, and the T's have made their way onto this smaller B bomb site. And there we have three kills, and Dupree with two P90 kills as well. Um, I just got a message with regards to people only hearing... And my stream from one ear. Um, I do think that's only my voice from one ear, not the actual Counter Strike sounds from one ear. Um, it's because my mic is a little fucked up. But I am getting a new mic, so uh, so yeah, apologies about that. But anyways, 12 7. And so far, well, the Copenhagen Wolves, fair play to them, going to give themselves a pat on the back. They have fought back very well. And we did say they played very poorly, but it looks like they could even get round number 8 because Fnatic, obviously are echoing once again. They couldn't capitalize on the fact that they had weapons and well, it looks like they're going to go down the drain. So Frizz gets the opening kill for the round. Gets first blood onto Moody with that big green gun. Fnatic, well, I'm not quite sure whether they do actually have a game plan with these blocks. Most teams just like to get these rounds out of the way. However, they're going to try their luck. Device and Fetish watching Arch and Quad. We do see three terrorists slowly making their way up mid. Device, well he timed that flash to perfection, I'll tell you that. He's gonna drop into the pit area and watch Quad 
in a rather defensive position. So here's the push. Freeze. Ooh, he missed that AWP shot. And I'll tell you what, he's going to give the T's control of Arch, and he's going to be in trouble. Fetish, however, will take down Devil. Fetish with three kills. Can he get the fourth? Where are you, Fetish? He couldn't get the fourth. But Device came in not too far behind to take out JW. So Fetish had Arch on lockdown there. Despite the fact that Freeze misses AWP shot, I think Fetish must have been playing within the Arch itself. And uh, he took the terrorist by surprise. Obviously used the fact that he had an M4 and armor against the eco of Fnatic to win that all-important 8th round. And I'll tell you what, for Copenhagen Games, well, game on. They are back in this game, guys. And uh, again, anything can happen. We've seen amazing comebacks before. I wouldn't say it would be an amazing comeback by the Copenhagen Wolves should they come back and win this game. But it would definitely be an impressive comeback considering they were 12-3 down at one point. Flush is going to push mid. Spotted one of the CTs running back towards Arch. But couldn't deal any damage onto him. Dupree's been heavy tagged. And another slow round from the T's. Moddy just chilling near Banana Schneider throwing nades towards that, their mid and quad areas. But we do have... Yep, one, yep, four terrorists. Make that five terrorists at the bottom of Banana. So it looks like we're going to see a B push now. Schneider and Co. getting ready for this push. Of course, only, actually, number... Who is it? It is Fetish. He's going to start rotating now from Arch towards a smaller bomb site. Schneider throws a nade, takes down Dupree. And that is first blood for the round. Schneider gets two for himself. And he's going to make his way through ruins now. X will take down Devil Walk on that B-bomb on that B -bomb site. That, one, that is a B-bomb site. <laughs> Freeze with the orb kill from uh, CT spawn. X gets his second. And two versus three now in favor of the Swedes. And make that two versus one now. Flusher all by himself now. And he will get taken out by Devil's by Device's grenade. And I think the key part of that round there, well... X did very, very well to hold himself by himself on that B bomb site. Again, don't know if you noticed, but I sort of mixed up both bomb sites there again. Uh, damn you, Sauce. Damn you. But, but yeah, <laughs> um, he did very well to hold off the attack from the terrorist by himself on that B bomb site. Particularly after Schneider, well, did very well to take out two of his teammates. And uh, despite that, we are still going to see a buy round from the terrorists. Fetish gets down, yeah, takes down Schneider. JW returns the kill. Flushing out, going towards that arch area. Spots one of the CTs in pit. He's being blinded, however. Device will take him down. Device with two kills. And Freeze gets on the score sheet as well as he takes down JW with not only one kill, but make that two for Freeze. And 12 10. Wow. Wow. I mean, we were saying that Fnatic, you know, were all over the Copenhagen Wolves' of CT. Uh, well, yep, that Fnatic were all over the Copenhagen Wolves as CT, but Copenhagen Wolves as well have been all over Fnatic as CT. So all I have to say, really, I think both teams need to improve their T side of Inferno, but as far as their CT sides, well, from what we've seen of their CT side so far, they are very strong on the CT side of Inferno. But anyway, X is going to push out of Banana Dupree, gets on the kill as well. We have a train of terrorists here at Banana Dupree, takes down Flusher, but Schneider will exchange the kill onto X. So four versus two now, Dupree... Dodges that nade. He's on 50 HP, so he's going to fall back. He does have two kills already to his name. Freeze will take down JW. And now it's all down for this man here, Wesley Schneider. No, I'm kidding. He's only Schneider. It would be cool if he was a footballer, Wesley Schneider. He's going to take down Device from behind. He's going to make his way now towards the other part of Banana. He's being um, surrounded now by the counter-terrorists. He does have... He looks like Freeze from behind with that up. And yes, it was Freeze. So, uh, fair play to Schneider. He got two kills out of nothing there. But the Copenhagen game, uh, the Copenhagen Wolves, sorry, 12-11. Well, I don't think anyone really expected that, but, you know, the comeback is on, ladies and gentlemen. So, 12-11. Obviously, for those of you who have just joined us, Fnatic did win the first half 12-3. So, the fact that it's now 12-11, you've got to give Copenhagen Wolves a pat on the back for that. I think they've realised that pushing this B-bomb site has worked for him so far. X is going to get on the score sheet as well as he takes down JW. Dupree with gets his second of the round. X is going to push out. Schneider takes him down. And so far it's been textbook stuff from Copenhagen Wolves. And down goes Schneider to Dupree's third kill. So Dupree and X so far absolutely unstoppable near that B-bomb site. Which is of course a smaller bomb site. I'm not quite sure why Fnatic opted to just take a train ride up Banana and push it. Because, well, it didn't work that well for him beforehand. But if that's what they want to do, they're the professionals, not me. So, 12-12. And I'll tell you what, we could actually see a comeback. 
um, on the cards. I was expecting Fnatic to really, you know, finish the game off rather early, but <laughs> we could actually see a comeback, and that is what Counter-Strike is about, guys. But anyways, Fetish has been hurt. He knows more or less that there are at least two terrorists at mid. He's going to throw that smoke out to give him a little bit of cover. Freeze throws that nade out to try and deal any damage. He only dealt a few HP to JW, I think it was. So, uh, we're seeing the same partnership of X and Dupree pushing Banana. Dupree's going to fall back. He is on 3 HP. So, that is probably the intelligent thing to do. He's flushing and never walk. Still look for that first blood frag. JW gets smoked out again of mid. And I think Fnatic really have to try and get some of the caps to uh, change things around. Are we going to see any Fnatic players going up? Not at the moment. We see two CTs watching quad. Now the device returns to apps and very slow so far. 40 seconds to go and of course the terrorists in Fnatic, well they've got to get the bomb down eventually and it doesn't look like they are going to commit to this bigger A bomb site. Flusher I think might fake that B bomb site. As, uh, the players shoot left, right and centre. Devil walk now with that flash. He's going to make his way towards Arch but Fetish is going to deal with him. JW takes him down however and him and Schneider are going to start making their way around the back of this B bomb site. Four versus three. And hang on a second. The T's have only gone and pushed through CT Sport. I think they're going to try and plant on B. Flusher takes down X9. And both Device and Free are on this bigger bomb site. Moddy comes from Apt. He will get dropped by Device. And Device now. 3 versus 1. He's all by himself. Schneider, however, coming towards him. Knows where he's coming from. I think his teammate will have called that. He's changed his mind. I think he heard Schneider. Schneider has pushed out mid. Is he going to take him down? Yes, he is. And uh, look at the scoreboard now, guys. 13-12. So what a game. But not just what a game, what a massive round for Fnatic. <laughs> you know, they were 12-3 up. It was 12-12. Hopefully they're, they're going to step their game up now and uh, get all 16. But at the moment, anything could happen. Copenhagen Wolves obviously got into this round by beating a Russian side. 16-1 on Didos 2. But obviously everyone knows Didos 2. It's maps like this, like Inferno, where really you get tested, where different teams get tested, where teamwork is probably needed slightly more. But anyways, the fetish has been hurt. He is only on 23 HP. And we still see the same 3-2 split from the counter-terrorists. As far as the scoreboard is concerned, device on top of the scoreboard for the Copenhagen Wolves, 19 kills, 17 deaths. Fetish, 16 kills, 17 deaths. He's actually got the same KDR as Friss. X with 12 kills, 17 deaths. And Dupree with 15 kills, 15 deaths. So X, the only player on a negative KDR for the for the uh, Danes here. Looks like we're going to see a push into this B bomb site. Friss is holding quad by himself. But all the teams actually made their way towards Arch. God, where are they? There they are. The bomb is on Schneider's back, of course. Devil Walk is going to walk right into Friss's trap. No, he's not. Schneider, well, his AK-47 work has been superb so far this game. And four versus three. Man up for Fnatic. They're going to spot Fetish, but they didn't spot him, spot him soon enough as he takes down Devil Walk. So three on three. They know that Fetish is in that pit somewhere. Moddy has his cross out on the area. I think they heard a CT coming out of, of library as well. Down he goes. Schneider, magnificent AK work by him. And now they're just waiting for Fetish, really, to pop out a pit. Deal with him, and then Dupree. Well, do they have they forgotten about Dupree? He's gonna throw that nade right on the side. He does a lot of damage to Schneider, but Schneider gets his third. Can Schneider get the fourth? Well, Fetish only on seven HP. We've got our eyes on Schneider. What can he do? The bomb is ticking. Well, sh you know it's up to Fetish really to make, get a move on and try and defuse this bomb. Otherwise, F Fnatic are gonna get round 14. Fetish will take Schneider down, but it doesn't sound like. They're going to have enough time to defuse the bomb. And uh, <laughs> Fetish still fell to his death despite standing in that what many consider to be the safe area on that A bomb site in pit. Where we obviously, for whatever reason, don't die when the bomb goes off. But anyways, 14 12. And well, you know, we were saying give Copenhagen Walls a pat on the back. Fair play, Fnatic. You've, well, I say you've, but they've back from 12-12 to make it 14-12 so you know th this is uh, this is one of the things you love we, well we all love about Counter-Strike is that is that anything can happen there's no other way to put it this is Counter-Strike for you that's why we all love it be it Source 1.6 anything can happen and JW talking about anything that can happen well he just landed an AWP shot a beautiful AWP shot be it through the smoke 
Freeze, however, took down Schneider and JW. Well, he couldn't land that orb shot. So he's going to pick up the orb and go back down towards T spawn. So four versus four in anybody's game so far, really. There's no other way to put it. Ugh, so close. Anyways, Dupree is not by himself. He is with another CT on that B bomb site. But of course, the lads on the A bomb site are one man down. But it looks like we're going to see a push into this smaller bomb site now from the terrorists. So what we're going to see from the CTs, Dupree on the bomb site. He's going to probably hear the bomb going down now by Devil Walk. He's going to spam it. Can he take Devil Walk down? He can now. X as well getting two kills. And four versus one. Moddy by himself will take down X. But Freeze comes from behind to finish him off. And there is the defuse. So 14, 13. Wow. What a game. We all knew it was going to be close. Well, I said that before and it was 12-3. We were talking about how uh, how one-sided the game was. But I'll tell you what, Copenhagen Wolves have done magnificently to turn everything around. So fair play to them. So two rounds to go. Of course, if we do get 15-15, which is a possibility, we uh, will go into overtime, I believe. We won't have a second map. It could be best of three, but as far as I'm aware, it's a best of one. Anyways, let's see what's going to happen anyways. Fnatic, well, some of their players can't afford AKs. They do have armor. Moddy is only on a Glock. Near that lower apps area. You hear AK bullets being shot. And... Well, even if Fnatic were to go and win this game... Uh, fair play to them for... Well, I mean, fair play to the Copenhagen Wolves for really bringing... Bringing it back to 14-13. But slow so far, on paper, once again... We should have 14-14 now, guys, because, well, Fnatic, they're on an eco. So Freeze gets a first kill, gets the first bullet onto Moddy. Fetish gets on the scoreboard as well. He's being pushed. Schneider will take him down. Schneider, once again, my man of the match, to be fully honest, as far as Fnatic is concerned. JW gets that AK kill onto X and 3 versus 2. JW not on much health. Flush is going to go down to Dupree. And now it's all up to this man here. He knows that Dupree is not CT spawn here. He's going to peek him. Dupree, without a doubt, will have heard him. Now all Dupree has to do is hit JW with one bullet. He's on 5 HP. And got a second. One CT is near this B-bomb site. And it was Device. And he is going to take him down. So 14-14. Are we going to do Fnatic have enough to buy? They don't. So we are going to see an eco from Fnatic now. And wow. Copenhagen, on paper, Copenhagen Wolves should get round number 15 and well Fnatic are gonna buy up and try and make it 15 all but if the Copenhagen Wolves get 16 well what a comeback from them brilliant stuff from the Copenhagen Wolves let's not speak too soon looks like we're gonna see somewhat of a banana push now from Fnatic Dupree and X obviously do hold it very very well and out come the flashes there's Spurs left right and center X takes down Devil Walk there's a train of terrorists now Continue going up banana. Dupree with one. Dupree with two. Dupree with three. But Flusher will take him out. And he is the last man standing for the terrorists. And I spoke too soon as he fell to his death. Thanks to Fetish's nade. So 15-14 in favour of the team who were losing 12-3 at the beginning of this half. So no pressure Fnatic. But you've got to really... You've got to pull something out of the bag. And I'll tell you what. Look at Fnatic. Well, one of them's got a, an SMG. The other's got a, a few Galils here and there. Only one of them, I think, has an AK. So it really isn't looking good for them. And I think we are going to see a Copenhagen Wolves win. But again, let's not speak too soon. Anyways, smokes are thrown at mid. And uh, oof, that nade dealt a lot of damage from Fetish, who is going to get pushed now by a bunch of terrorists. Fetish shoots. Can't take JW down, so first blood to Fnatic. X comes in from behind, takes down Devil Walks, Freeze gets on the score. She JW with his second, Flusher with a pistol kill, two versus three. And funnily enough, in favour of the team who are ecoing. So X is going to get flashed from that bomb site. He's going to get flashed again. Dupree takes down JW in library. And two versus two. And, well, this could go anyway. The bomb was down. It has been picked up, I think, from the terrace. And Flusher, he is going to plant the bomb. So Fnatic, to save this game, really need to win this round. So X, very heavy tagged. And down he goes. Dupree on 11 HP. It's Dupree versus Flusher now. He knows the bomb's down. Flusher, well, he's made his way towards quad. And, uh... He does have more HP and an AK and more or less full armor as opposed to complete. Uh, opposed to Dupree, sorry. He's going to start diffusing. 
And hang on a second, complete might just get this defuse. I don't think the Fnatic player heard it. And we're going to have 16-14. What a comeback from the Copenhagen Wolves. Good game, guys. And uh, this has been Kai Knight from Nexus TV. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.